As you get more involved with your love of wine, you're probably finding that there are a lot of nuances to this passion. You've come to recognize that there are hundreds, even thousands of different types, shapes, and color of wine bottles. You may have even asked yourself, is there a reason for all these variations? <laughs> if you haven't asked yourself that question, then why the heck are you watching this video? <laughs> Actually, I'm going to show you some really interesting things about wine bottles. This video is a part of a three video series. In this video, we'll look at three different things. Number one, the seven different most important and popular bottles. Number two, we'll find out why the bottles are named the way they are. And number three, we'll learn the actual anatomy or parts of all wine bottles. In another video, we'll look at wine bottles. I call them the big three, Burgundy, Bordeaux, and Alsace bottles. We'll see why those bottles are designed the way they are and some of the wines that traditionally go into those bottles. There's yet another video called Wine Bottles, Champagne, Rhone, Fortified, and Provence bottles. We'll take a quick look at those very important bottles. By the end of the series, you're not only going to know more about wine bottles, you're going to find out about some wines that I'm relatively certain many of you have never heard of. My hope is you'll begin to branch out and try new wines over time. Let's dive in. Number one. The names of the bottles. The seven most important bottles names are Bordeaux, Burgundy, Alsace, also known as Moselle, Champagne, Rhone, Fortified, also known as the Port Style, and Côte de Provence. Number two, as far as why they're named the way they are, with a couple of exceptions, the names of many of the bottles are named after and come from French wine regions. The reason for this is France is where many of the wines either found their origin or became prominent several hundred years ago. Number three, in the balance of this video, we'll learn the six different parts of or the anatomy of a wine bottle. Understanding the parts or anatomy will give us a point of reference as we learn about the different bottle shapes and what they do for the wine inside them. Okay, the anatomy or parts of a wine bottle. We'll start at the top and work our way down. The six parts of the wine bottle are the mouth, the ring, the neck, the shoulders, the body, and the bottom, which houses the punt. Let's take a look at these a little closer. Number one, the mouth. This is also known as the opening. <laughs> this is where the wine comes out. Number two is the ring, also known as the crown. It creates like a little lump on the top of the bottle. The bottom of the ring is where you cut the foil when you're opening the bottle. Most people cut the foil above the ring. The bottom is actually the place you want to cut. That's the proper place. Back in the day, the ring was used for anchoring the cork to the bottle with strings or giving the wax being used to seal the cork a better grip. Number three is the neck. This is the narrowest part of the bottle. The opening is at the top of the neck. How are you doing there? Is this informative so far? If it is, click like below. The fourth part of the anatomy are the shoulders. This is the link between the neck and the body. There are different type of shoulders. There are low shoulders. See the general slope? These low shoulders are there for a reason. We'll check that out a little bit later. And then there are also high shoulders. You see these? The high shoulders are useful. They have a reason for being there. They catch impurities as you pour the wine into your glass slowly. Number five is the body. This is the biggest part of the bottle. This is where the wine goes. Last but not least is number six, the bottom. The bottom allows the bottle to keep in a vertical position. Back in day, a rounded bottle kept the bottle from being able to stand upright. So the producers learned when they were making the glass bottles to push the bottom inward. The very bottom is called the punt. This was originally created to keep the bottle from being round on the bottom. Some punts are less hollowed out, like this one. 
and some punts are more hollowed out. They're much deeper. Some punts give added thickness to the glass to make the bottle a little bit stronger. However, like bottle shapes and colors, the punts remain popular primarily because of tradition. Back in the day, the deeper and thicker the punt, you'd find the wine to be a higher quality and higher price. Nowadays, that's not always the case. Many of the better wines do have deeper punts, but not always. Don't be fooled, just because it has a deep punt doesn't mean it's a great wine. Frequently, producers use thinner glass with absolutely no punt whatsoever. Actually, these days the punt is technically unnecessary. Mechanical bottle production allows much greater uniformity, but winemakers still are attached to the punt, primarily because of tradition. Well, there you have it. Everything you need to know about the anatomy of a wine bottle. Use it to your advantage at a wine tasting, a cocktail party, or whatever. And let me know how that goes. And don't forget to check out my other two videos in the series. They'll definitely prove to be helpful to you. They're named Wine Bottles, the Big Three, Burgundy, Bordeaux, and Alsace, and Wine Bottles, Champagne, Rhone, Fortified, and Provence Bottles. Also, if you've enjoyed this video and was helpful to you, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe for new videos that come out every single week and give it a like if you liked it. If there's someone you know that's interested in wine, make sure you share this video with them. I'd really appreciate that. And ring the bell to be notified when I post other videos. Folks, I'm here to help and serve you as we learn more about wine together. I look forward to you joining me on Facebook at Asti Wine Consultants, Instagram at Asti Wine Consultants, and if you're looking for some wonderful wines, check out my website, www.astywines.com.